Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different tabletop games project every weekday at 1.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and give my honest thoughts on how that project is being ran. And today I'm very excited to be checking out the 31st most popular uh, tabletop games project on all of Kickstarter, uh, which I actually just lost its positioning, but it's this table. It is the Kingmaker table, which for some reason is eluding me, and I do apologize. The Kingmaker all-in-one gaming and dining table become the king of the game with our gaming table ultimate and affordable so i will say i like i like the fact they mentioned affordable somewhere in there i look at this image and it's kind of hard to see let's see if i can zoom in just a smidge and oh it lost it. oh come on now i gotta go searching again there it is yeah it looks okay uh, I'd like to see this zoomed in more. Like, I, I could I could do with less of this fireplace, less of this basket, and just zoom way in. Because that's... What what you're selling me is the table. I don't know why this... Uh, yeah, I would zoom in a little bit. But it's already raised $36,000. 35 days left to go from Wood Project. Let's zoom, how do I zoom out? What, what did I just do? I am having all sorts of... There we go. Uh, let's see. Here we go. The king mate. There we go. Now back to regular. All in one set of gaming hardware. So 52 backers. So we're looking at... It's gonna. It's a table. It's going to be expensive. As always, when I go into the video, I'm thinking three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Let's go. What? Why? 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 I can't hear the sound. I... Oh, I thought I just fixed everything here. I do not... There we go. Resetting. So what's that hole? I'm intrigued to know what this hole is. is. That is that a plug? Oh, if that's a plug, if that's a plug. How did that work? I want to see that again. I want to see that one more time. You sc scoot that out with your thumb, and then it lifts, and then everything else is interlocked by just that one piece. Those two pieces there. Interesting. LED lights, a uh, game mat, which means you could have different game mats in there. Awesome. I like the fact that they're showcasing that. I think that looks really good. And good. I thought they went a little too fast on showing that mechanism, and they came back and they re-showed that to me, so I think that was really good. Oh! <laughs> That's good. That's real good. It's a great shot. This is too fast. I don't like this. I like because I want to see the different uh, how it changes so it can hold cards. That's really awesome. And then then oh so yeah. And then wait, go back. Ah, god. There's a, a attachment over here. This looks great. All the different colors. This is really solid, but I think it's just going up way too fast right now. game is that <laughs> that is um that's an interesting selling point can you actually do that I, I had never had a table with led lights in them but could you conceivably play a game in the dark in that way i imagine you could that's that's actually really cool huh And now, why are we taking so long on this shot? Like, all the amazingly spectacular stuff you were showing me, <laughs> you, uh, you, you gave me, like, one second apiece, but now for this shot, like, how long is this? Like, how long is this? Okay, 29. So, so, for now, I see that the table's lit up. Turn the lights off in a second. Oh, there's, there's chips. Make sure we get the chips in the shot. We don't want to miss out on these chips. This is such, like, why is it? And now we go to darkness, and I will say this is a cool one. But once again, how long do we spend on this shot? Why do I need to see his cards? Oh, so you're trying to show me maybe that he can see his cards? I would assume he can see his cards. Like, if you're, <laughs> I don't assume they're playing in the dark not being able to see. So 
So that was like a solid 13 seconds. I think it might even been a little bit longer than that. Of just the, the this game on the table. And it's just, I don't think they... It's even up. So that is a plug. USB. Okay, cool. Now, I think that that was a little bit of a missed opportunity there. I think the, the better shot instead of taking everything off the table. Because once again, and now I'm really getting into the weeds here, but, you know, <laughs> it's just little things I see like this. Like, why take the stuff off the table? Why not just clear everything around the outside? Maybe not even take that. Why not leave these on the outside and then just put the top on and then have dinner? I don't know. It seems odd. And now we're doing long scrolling shots of the table. Which direction are we coming at the table from? Oh, oh, from the top? No, from the side! Oh, look at that plant! Like... This is so weird! Yeah, what? Wait, 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 what is it? Didn't they just get... Didn't they just put this game away? Didn't they just put this game away? Maybe it's just me. Let me is this the same game? So this is the same game! Part of the appeal of this table should be that I could just leave these components out. Like, oh, let's go have dinner. We'll just put the, the table, put the thing on top, or is that not something I could do? Because I would assume, you know what, maybe it's not. Maybe it's just like, hmm. Okay, that might be why. That might be why. And in that case, I don't even know if you showcase that spot. Because in my brain, I'm like, well, what, isn't the whole point of this table that I don't have to put this on? Okay. And this is something I also don't like. I, right now, feel like this video is getting very redundant because I'm looking at this and I'm trying to find the spot that I was on in this video and I'm like, wait, is this the same shot that I've already seen? Or is this just another shot that looks similar to the same shot that I've already seen? And that shouldn't be happening in this video that I'm already getting this kind of redundancy here. Uh, okay, so it is. Okay, so it's just more of them putting things in place. Pretty sure we already saw this. That was weird. I think there was a little just too too long on the hand there. Why, why did we focus so long on his hand? <laughs> it's, just, it's just like, it was just like an extra little caress, like a gentle tug. Why, why do we need the gentle tug? Okay, so a lot of times when I do Kickstarter videos for miniatures games, I think that a lot of minis games have the problem where, uh, that I call minis porn, where it's just they focus way, 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 way too much on the minis, especially in videos. Right now, I'm getting that, but it's co components. Like, we, I, I get it. I get how this works. I saw that you put cards in there. I don't need to go. you go back to, to, to this. Oh, now they're now they're putting that you can push down. So this is nice. This is great. I don't need another sliding shot. I don't need another meeples in a tray shot. I don't need another sliding shot. Don't give me another one. There's only 34 seconds left. Should show it doesn't fall out. LOL. Yeah, but I've seen it. Like I get, I get it. Oh, now that was a good shot. And once again, it's so damn short. Why are the wood ones? So they have a popular game, and this is the first time I've seen them have a popular game set up too, uh, which I think is really good to do. Be oh, super felt tilter is that what the, that was? Is that what that is when it pushes on it? That was really that was really that was nice. Uh, but showing spotlighting a popular game that everyone has around about the the idea of the size of the game, I think is a way better idea than the games that they've been spotlighting. I don't know what those games are. I have no clue what those games are. And there's certain games that if you put them out there, I think the majority of the gaming population would know. Now, you don't, obviously don't want to put out Monopoly. Um, well, maybe, maybe you do that to give people an idea. But, so I do like the fact they put Siphon here, and I think this is a great shot right here. 
Like that, that, you know what? This right here, God, it's so short. Like when I see this, you know what I want? You know what I want set up on here? I think would have been great. A Twilight Imperium setup. Like if you had this board and if you could, if you can fit all the Twilight Imperium information, you have all your cards right here. You got your secret objective cards right there. You got our whole little area. I think that would be such a spectacular. Maybe you got uh, some of your minis in that little uh, quadrant right here. And you got some of your, uh, your tokens in this quadrant right there. So I think it's great on Scythe, but I think I think I think this is good. But once again, how long is it? It's like it's like two seconds. Yeah, and then we're back to wine. I get it. I get it. I can hold stuff in it. I got. I already saw the same damn can of soda. I'm pretty sure. Oh, but now we're giving it to you different angle. Now I can't tell how. So that is one thing. I still don't have a firm grasp of how deep this is, which I'd like to know. Why? I know, I know what dropping cubes looks like. Why do you keep showing yourself dropping cubes? And this is, this isn't even part of the game. Is it? Is it? Oh, this is, that looks like a project I've covered. Oh, that, that. Oh, okay, cool. Like that really gave me a great sense of the scale of the size of that laptop. So while that was in no way gaming related, well, I guess it was because tabletop role playing gaming. How often do you need a laptop near you to look up an FAQ, a rule, board game geek, something like that? That's nice. Rolling dice. Starting from two hundred and sixty dollars. What? What? No, it's not. No, you're lying to me. There is no way that that table is two hundred and sixty dollars. I just don't believe that. Now, if you're going to sell me some other piece of mumbo jumbo that I saw here, I don't really care if it's starting for $260 because I'm here for the table. But if this is a $260 table, it is a sin that it does not say $260 on the front door of this because that is a humongous selling point. When I see a gaming table, I'm thinking $700 to $2,000 minimum, and that's not even covering shipping. So that's why I'm saying there's no way this is $260. But if it is, oh my gosh. That's terrible that it's not spotlighted more. Alright. I thought that video could have been trimmed by a minute. And I think it would have been... I think it would have hit a lot harder. What happens with these companies is they come in hungry with one table, take orders, spend the money, and they're left with no more money and 100 tables left to build. Yeah, I will say... Uh, John has a great point there. For whatever reason, these board game table companies... They... S you know what? I don't... You know what? Now that I think about it... They come and they go a lot more frequently, but then so do board game companies if you really think about it. But there's just a lot less board game table companies, so when one of them goes out of business or just, you know, has a big major Kickstarter issue, it just, it's a lot more magnified because there's only like, what, 15, 20, 50 of them? There's like a very small amount of these companies, whereas when it comes to board game companies, there's hundreds, there's thousands of them, you know, especially now with Kickstarter. But anywho, uh, so four created, five backed, but do I want it? Yes. If it, in fact, is $260 or if it's even at a reasonable price, uh, I thought it looked like a solid gaming table. I need to see some more information. I wasn't completely wowed by the video, but I thought they did a good job, even though it was very redundant. Can you do it? That's why we check here. So four created, five backed. Our company has been in the business of producing woodwork and decorations for quite some time. At first, it was just a hobby, but a huge number of ideas and projects as well as passion for this craft allows us to turn a hobby into something much more substantial. Working in a team and sharing ideas with each other, we always strive to create beautiful and unusual things that would bring positive emotions to their owners. Thanks to your great support at Kickstarter, we have an opportunity to implement our ideas and surprise you with new wonderful projects. Feel free to contact us. Oh, you know what? I like that. I think that's good. Hopefully, it sends us to some good-looking uh, websites, some social media. I didn't see them on Twitter. 288 people look this, so we got the Kickstarter. I got, I see some products here. Okay. And then Pledge Manager. You know, uh, ugly. I hate that. Why, why would I want to go there? Why would I want to go there? That doesn't convince me of anything. Can I just look at, is this, yeah, this is, okay. All right, but four created, five backed. Uh, so the Gamer's Chest. Yeah, I did a video, I think, for the Gamer's Chest. Uh, so it was canceled, they relaunched, and then I remember it was a big success, but then Folding Wine Table Loving Hearts, let's see if that gamer's chest is out. Because yeah, I did a Kickstarter critique, so this one, uh, this one was not successful, so they have done one successful. Let's make sure this one's out. Do, 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 do. so, boom. 
And that and lo- just looking at that, honestly, that seems like a hard sell on Kickstarter. <laughs> like, I don't even know how I would market that. I don't know if Kickstarter is the place people go for that sort of thing. Uh, so, yeah, 3160 Yeah, this was a $492,000 project. This was a big one. So let's make sure people have gotten their products. Shipping progress updates. Our packages are being sent almost every day. We'd really appreciate it if everyone who receives his, pa- uh, uh, his package, my, my, their package, <laughs> receive your package. Like, I'm not even woke or anything like that, but it's like, eh, this isn't a rule booklet. In a rule booklet, you can get away with it, but like when you're directly addressing people, um, leaves a review in the comments section. Your reviews and comments are really helpful, not only for backers, but allowing us, uh, also for us manufacturers as well. They, so they're actually saying, hey, check it out. Uh, Make sure you like it and then review it. And, and I like that. I don't have no issues with uh, trying to stimulate that. Thanks for your feedback. We can control and improve the quality. As you can see, we've taken into consideration all suggestions at the first wave of shipment and fixed all the mistakes. All the towers and bad connections have been replaced. Judging by recent comments, the quality of final product is great and we are really proud of it. So this is exactly what I want to see as this first thing that I come here. Now let's make sure that it's uh, backed up. Oh, that, wow. That looks so oh, that looks that 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 looks pretty. That looks pretty. Um. Wow, that is really good. Come on, I just want to get get me to the updates. People get their stuff. You said that an order has been sent out, but I am an order and mine has not been sent out. It looks like they've stopped doing status updates for everyone individually. I can imagine that would be a lot to take on. Uh, ooh, they're not responding to any of these. I'm looking to ask for static updates. Oh, man. Oh, no. Ew, gooly. So... Here's the thing. None of these people seem pissed. And that's what I'm noticing. They need to respond to all these. It is the holidays. But this is a $600,000 project. You know, uh, <laughs> it was $300,000. It's a $100,000 plus dollar project. Yeah, it's a nearly a half million dollar project. Can we can we get those responses in there? Um, well, let's check out the comments. Make sure this isn't a flaming dumpster fire. But this is the this is why we always go. This is why we always go here to just so you know these things before we get into their first pr- the project we're on. Thank you for your update, but I don't need to be a jerk. But if I say the shipping queue does not always correspond to backer order number, what good does it do us to know that order 2,697 be shipped? Ha- Yo, jo- <laughs> Javier with a spectacular point. If you're not shipping them out in the shipping order, then letting people know that order 2,697 has been shipped is valuable to exactly one <laughs> of your 3,000 backers. And yeah. Mm. And here's the thing. So this is... And here's where I hate to dig into this, but I do dig into this. The people that create this project have to know that, right? Like, if they're not doing an order, then it's just like, hey, Greg's thing has been shipped. That's what they just said. Except instead of saying Greg, and then Greg would actually see it, it's just says 2000. Yeah, this is, a, this is a bad look. Okay, sorry, I just saw your previous post. I will ask you by email. Oh, so they're saying ask it by email. Uh, I just received my tracking number. We tried to answer everyone any on the status of my order. So this is. Mm. So this is definitely a check minus on the can you do it. This, this would immediately concern me, especially considering, you know, there's, there's, there's probably going to be another tabletop, uh, tabletop, another table that's on Kickstarter in the next few months. Like there's typically one every few months, it seems. Kingmaker, all in one gaming table. And so, wait, what the hell? So it's not 890 So $890. I will say, I like the fact we're getting down to the price right now, right up and early. Uh, we get a medium table. So there's going to be different sizes. And you also could get maple cherry oak, and then you get a topper storage game organizer. What is a topper storage? Oh, so this stores all the components that you need for here, and it also works as a games organizer. That's clever, because it's like, where do these pieces go? Where do these things go when you're not using them? I like that. That's actually a great thing to spotlight there. Um, I might, I wish they would have spotlighted that honestly a little bit more in the video. I remember seeing this, but I didn't know what it was. Like if there's actually hooks or clasp or a way that you put things in there, I think that would have been a great idea to show me, you know, Oh, so once we take this off the gaming table, this big thing right here, we put it right into this area. Cause it looks like this holds stuff or something. So I think they could have spotlighted that a lot better. And once again, if this is what you're trying to show me is that I can in fact, you know, just put the, the table over the gaming table, so to speak, so I can have dinner in the middle of a game, like, that video should have showed me that. <laughs> and instead, the video showed me everyone right before they ate 
putting away the entire game, <laughs> eating, and then coming back and setting the whole game back out. And it's like, no. Gaming table, the playmat, your choice of color. That's awesome. Built-in wireless charger. Nice waterproof topper system. LED lighting, two USB socket charger. Oh, wow, that's nice. Uh, and I'd love to see this zoomed in. Wine glass holder. You can add any combination of inserts. So do we get any inserts? So you're telling me the price, but I don't really know yet uh, the inserts. And then I get this. So I get this, any combination of inserts. So I think you get four. Let me know how many I get, I think. maybe I bet it's six, potentially. This could be a little bit cleaner, I think. Picture, Kingmaker All-in-One Gaming Table. Kingmaker is an ultimate board game table which has everything a gamer needs. When ordering our table, you get everything at once for a reasonable price. Gaming Table with a special springy non-slip surface, your choice of color. I don't know what springy means, but... Uh, oh, that's the thing where it uh, pushes down. Waterproof topper system. Cool. And uh, you know what I honestly like here? Just some zoomed-in pictures or, like, mini GIFs, potentially, of what this looks like. Just even if it's just, like, a scroll... Like, yeah. Especially, like, the waterproof topper... Uh, mounting system. What do we got? I've seen this from the video. Yeah, this is from the video. Uh, is this, did they get Jalop? Is this Jalop? No. Ooh, this is one person. <gasps> Ooh, no collaborators. Now that, that is, that is rough. That is, that is rough. I would a hundred per million, billion, trillion percentage. Get yourself some collaborators in here. Get someone close to you. Hire someone if you need to. Um, because... You have, your dumpster is burning out back. It's not quite flaming dumpster fire territory yet, but you got a lot. You got an angry mob knocking on the door like, hey, what the hell? 2000, back or 2697, that doesn't help me. Like, where's my stuff? Where's my stuff? I gave you a lot of money. You had $500,000. Like, be careful. Especially, I'm just, like, I'm just, I'm a little bit concerned for the, the creators. Especially if you we've collected all the goodies in one reward and you no longer have to face a choice. Should I order just a gaming table or a dining one? Where to store toppers? The, so, okay. How to make a unique atmosphere for the gameplay. Cool. This is just redundant stuff. I don't care. Ooh, table assembly. The Kingmaker table is assembled really fast and you won't need any special tools. Now, this is good, but you know what would be even better? It would be a million times better. And I, I I really love math. I was thinking about being a mathematician. So this is quite literally one million times better. How about just a, a YouTube video, or hell, even a Vimeo video, I don't care, of just you setting up the table with regular tools and telling me exactly what tools you did. And it's just, oh, it's a 38-minute video. Oh, it's a 45-minute video, and this is how you put together the whole table. Literally, a Watch It Played of how to put together the table. If you want one, come send your boy one of those. I will make you a watch it played of how to set up your gaming table. Uh, but but it's just, that seems so much more useful than this super slick, like, oh, look, the moving stop motion crap. Like, I don't want art here. I want functionality. I want to know that I'm going to be able to do this with the tools I have and not be frustrated and not have to spend four hours working on it and then be super, you know, and then have an LED light issue and just say, damn it, I'm not, like, what, I'm out. I, like, that's what I want there. Uh, topper system. I've seen that. That's cool. Whatevs. Edge of the table. Got the things. <clears throat> Slide and beer. That is cool. That sliding shot I actually do really like. That is actually really hot. You put some snacks on top of there. There ain't no chance in hell I'm ever putting anybody, <laughs> letting anybody put a drink on top of there ever. And you'll notice all those drinks are closed. <laughs> um, but that's still a good shot. Lighting. Yeah, we saw that for like 13 seconds. Ooh, there's a remote? Wait, 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 wait. There's a there's a remote? This might have been in the video and maybe I just missed it because maybe it was too super fast, but that, that is spectacular. Now, that I love. This color's not really flowing with the game. Can we change it? Yeah, we can change That's That's really hot. Uh, it easily operates, operates with the remote control, differing different lights. Yeah, ma magnificent LED lights creates a unique atmosphere. Yada yada yada. Removable inserts. Sliding this for the seven thousandth time. You can hold cubes, component holder, token holder, removable inserts. I've seen this. I've all seen. So what do I want right now? Let's just get down to the bushes. Do I want it? Yeah, yeah. I think eight hundred ninety dollars seems reasonable. I do need to know the shipping. 
I want to know how many inserts I'm going to get. I, I want to know how I'm going to get those big, massive uh, Twilight Imperium style ones that I saw. I also would like to know uh, what's the large size. You show me the medium size. That's eight hundred ninety dollars. Like, why are we still talking about the freaking card slots? Why am I still seeing another image from this over and over and over again? You kind of got down to the price, but then you just completely veered away from that. I want to pay you at this point. Just show me the money. Or let me show you the money. I don't need to see this orange juice again. Uh, this. This is what I'm talking about. Where's the price? Where's the price for the player desk? That's what I want. Play mat. D cool. Just stop it. Just stop it. Just give me a price. Your choice of color? Question mark. Is that going to be a stretch goal or something? Uh, topper storage. Now we're getting a little bit in more in-depth on there. And look, that's the shot I want to see. This is what I want to see. What is this? <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is a crime. This is a crime that so much other useless stuff got put into this video and this didn't. Like, that gives me... So, I will say, first and foremost, uh, I thought that thing was going to be bigger. <laughs> uh, not that that's a huge deal, but it's still... Like, I don't mind knowing it's small. And in fact, now I can look at it more like a, something I could... You know, a coffee stable or something like that. That's fine. But this shot right here... Yeah, this shot, this shot is so much better than any shot in the video, almost, I want to say. Because this shot tells me the two major questions that I had after sitting through the two and a half minute redundant video, which was, where am I going to place these wooden pieces, which I had, didn't actually even think about. Um, and then, can I keep games on the table, then put the table back together? And that's why I think it was such a poor idea to have them clean up that game before they ate dinner. Like, it just drives me mad. Why does this look 3D animated? Okay, so it's not, but it's shot on, like, a white screen. It's odd. It's very odd. Oh, this, this, like, this shot. that see like this oh my gosh that's so good that should have been in the video uh and then you get it can fit and then this look look i i can fit two games in here four or five i can fit six games in here plus i got a spot on top i can fit some massive you know that's where my gloom haven goes something like that i do not think this was showcased nearly well enough in that video because that i am 33 minutes in and i'm just now seeing this oh yeah uh, two USB sockets. We finally get a zoom in on like. I like that. Like that. So here we go. Rewards. Hopefully this is clean. Alright. Only gaming version includes table with playmat. Now if we want the topper system. We're going to get 200. And that's... Uh, oh, this is going to be... This is going to be fun. Uh, if we want to get the LED lights, 150. USB charger, 50 bucks. Wireless charger, 75. Topper holder, which now I actually... Now, here's the bottom line. I was... I want that topper holder. So, that 890 fledged Oliver looks good. So, we got the all-in. One version includes uh, all this stuff for eight. And that's the that's the one that you spotlighted. $890. Then, 999 gets us... Uh, what, what What is this? All in one version includes. What is this? Oh, is this because is the price going to go up as you run out of what? Is, what is this? All in one version includes seven hundred fifty, eight ninety, nine ninety. Are you? Are these supposed to be different? Are these the large, the small, the medium? What? What is this? Oh yeah. So oh, it's oh, it's from up here. I'm a noob. So the coffee table, which I did we see the coffee table? Because I feel like this is the first time I've heard of this coffee table. Likewise with the small and the large table. I feel like they focus completely on the medium table, which once again goes back to the video. I think that like, they did a really poor job of spotlighting their products. I had no idea from that video that there was a large one, a small one, and a coffee table. And let's be honest, you want me to take the large one. I mean, you you put your featured one as the medium one, and maybe that's the one you're going to mass produce. But the large one, you know, I'm giving you more money. So the all-in version, twelve ninety, and then the accessories. So this is ugly. Uh, I feel like this all-in-one version, there should just be a whale. 
I don't know. I don't know how you organize something like this. Because all these are just extras. The player desk, everyone's going to want $55. So, assuming you want to get the eight player desk, which I think if you're getting, if you are actually going for this large eight person, you know, you play some mega massive games or you role play or something like that, I think you're going to want all eight of those. You're immediately looking at a $440 upcharge. So, we're looking at 13 we're looking at like uh, $1,700, and that's not including any of these other things, which you'll still probably want to get as well. And that's not including shipping as well. So we are, it's pricey. It's pricey. And once again, you, you said starting at $290, and then I'm 36 minutes in, and I have now just learned of the existence of this $290 product. I feel like you would have been better off just going with the 550 or maybe just spotlighting the coffee table. Because now I'm curious, what's the coffee table look like? Hopefully there's a picture somewhere. Be first and get 10% off any order. Cool. Is that is that still available? Because if it isn't, please get rid of that. Uh, it is... Is there... Is, where is the early bird? I don't see any early bird. Uh, is this it? Oh, this is the... Uh, oh, this is the early bird. Okay. I'm a noob. So the shipping cost. 450 Uh No. Oh, they tell you VAT. They tell you custom fees. I like that. So, ooh, there's no VAT, no custom fees. Actually, that is uh, that is very promising. Let's see how that's if that's moving the needle. Thirty-one U.S., six Canada, six Germany, three U.K., one Australia, one India. That's awesome. Good for you. Whoever's in India buying this, uh, treat yourself. Okay, so this shipping area, I guess it seems reasonable. I have no idea what it would even cost to ship a gaming table. So I'm not even going to pretend to know. Like I have any idea about this. So, let's see what the final... Because I'm trying to figure out how much is it. And it's very imprecise. I almost feel like this would be one of those ones, and they should look at some of the tech. I've seen tech and product design do this, where they have... And sometimes dice companies do this as well. Uh, the Chinese dice companies, uh, in particular. Not Chinese dice. I should say the Asian dice companies, because I think they're like from Hong Kong, Japan, all different places. But, but, but getting off the point here... Uh, like an actual thing that you click on and then it says, what do you want? Just like coffee table, this, this, this. And then what kind of accessories do you want? And then it just, it's it, it, like, it does all that stuff for you. You know, you raise $500,000. I feel like you could probably hire somebody to, to make you something like that. Or I don't know. Uh, so stretch goals, free divider board limits the playing area to the top relief limits the playing area to the top relief. Wow. Wow. That would be super awesome if I knew what that meant. That's a, that's a, that's not, that's not great. New playmat colors, new types of wood, print for playmat, acrylic layer, new secret accessory at the $2 million mark. And we are sitting at 37,000. So this is most definitely uh, what I like to call putting the cart in front of the horse here. So, you're showing me what's going to happen when we get 1,900,062,000 more dollars. I don't need to know that. That's just a bit too much. And honestly, the stretch goal area, it's, it's kind of dead. Because, I mean, even if you get to 50K, which they probably will. You know, this is just launched, I think, today or yesterday, a couple days ago. Um, but wowzers, uh, available types of wood all in one gaming table. Wow. I'm glad I get to see this again. Dimensions. Yes. Now this is something I would love to see. And I hate you. I hate you. I hate you so much. Why would you put it in centimeters? I know the majority of the world uses centimeters, but the majority of the people on Kickstarter are from the United States. And so this means diddly squat to me. You're a dead to me. <laughs> I now have to go open a whole new tab table to try and convert this. So, all right. 120 centimeters to inches. And once again, why is there not a picture? I just want a picture. I want to know what this is going to look like. Even if it's a 3D rendering. It's just... So, it's 47 inches. Uh, so, that's not... You know, it's uh, four feet. That's still... That's, that's half. That's not bad. 14 inches high. <coughs> People could sit at that. I like that. I like the idea of this table. But but this is I don't like. It also misspelled table. 
Just, you might want to fix that. Uh, no veneer, hardwood. Uh, so this is the same. Oh, man. This is... This is... So... This looks like trying to take a real big bite. And... I don't know if they're going to get this in their mouth. Construct your own table. So what is this? So $1. Thanks for your support. Six backers. Choose any size of table and pledge the total for your Kingmaker table and accessories here. Find your total using the reward list on the campaign page. You will also be able to configure your order in the pledge manager after the campaign. Shipping is not... So yeah, this seems like the... Quite honestly, with what you have, I would tighten this video up exponentially. I would spotlight a lot of the things that you did not spotlight very well. I would not have a 13 second shot of you playing a game. I have no clue what that game is. Um, and just keep scrolling around over and over again. There's so many things I change about that video, but I would tighten it up and I would add some more of the useful information. And then I would just make it a one-stop shop and just say, Hey, we're doing this a little bit different. Every table is different and our tables. We're going to acquiesce to you showcase all the components and then just have maybe one pledge level. It's just, Make your Kingmaker table. And I know if you do that, you're going to have early bird issues. I don't know how you'd fix that. Maybe there's an early bird one. First 500 people or whatever. Uh, first 100 people get, get to make their table for, you know, 10% off or something. I don't know. All right, so let's see. This is the early bird Kingmaker coffee table. We have one backer. One backer was like, yeah, I've seen enough. <laughs> Just morbid curiosity. Kingmaker small table, which I don't think we got much, much. Uh, so two backers, K. Okay. Medium table, this is the big one. This is the one they thought was going to be the hot one. Twelve backers, large table, fourteen. Yeah, that's what I called that. <laughs> I feel like that's what most people are going to want. If you are going to say, I'm going to sit like here's, and I know that if you are confined by space, this is a whole different conversation. But I think most people who are like, you know what, I'm going to pay fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars for my next gaming table. They're not that confined by space, and they're going to want the larger table. It just it just makes sense to me that that would be the one that you would spotlight at the very beginning. And maybe you didn't want to spotlight it because it's a little too much. 1160 But I still just... So, essentially this is sold 29, 30 tables. And that's going to be really hard... I don't know how they're going to make a print run of 30 tables, especially when, especially when they're all f different sizes. This is, this is a really interesting Kickstarter. I'm going to go ahead and give this a, can you do it on a check minus? I am very concerned about that just from a logistical perspective and having manufactured stuff before and talked to a lot of people who have manufactured things. Now, granted, I don't know how manufacturing tables works. I will be totally fair on that, but mm, I don't know. Let's check out the FAQ, the updates, and the comments. Your table has wires for charging and lightning. Is it safe? Well, here's the thing. Uh, I would assume it's safe. Like, what? there's only two answers that could be down here. Right? And I know it's not going to be no. I would love it's just no. It's not safe. It's probably going to set all your shit on fire. All your tables are absolutely safe. Yeah. Who's asking this? Next. So this launched on Thanksgiving. I don't know if that... I don't know if... Maybe they thought... Because everybody will be home. Because it's Thanksgiving. But once again... New York, New York. You're from New York, New York? And why did you shoot your video with 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 games that I think were like Russian or something? I remember looking at the side of one of those. And it was, yeah, where was that? Yeah, like, uh, maybe, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. Can I zoom in? Yeah, yeah, that does not scream New York, New York to me. Maybe you're just an avid traveler or something. I don't know. This 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 is looking a little bit suspicious. No updates on the first day. I don't like this. So I get the line of thinking that uh, Thanksgiving people will be home. Black Friday people are gonna shop. Maybe we launch on Thanksgiving. I get that idea. But uh, 
I would at least need an update. Like, first day. Hey, super excited. We are, you know, 80% funded. Can't wait. Awesome stuff in place. We're going to be doing something. Like, something. You got to give me an update. Day one. And I know it's a holiday, but that's just it's just so customary, especially with how how uh, dicey things look with this project. So if I want to make my own custom size table, how much should I put in when I pledge? Yes, and once again, Kurt R has hit the nail on the head. I think they need some sort of easy, quick shopping area. It says, what size, pri like, what size table do you want? You know, what accessories do you want? How many players do you want to act? Like, little things like that. Really good design. Excellent. EU friendly, EU VAT. Pretty sure that was answered in the shipping section. Where do you anticipate rewards to be shipped? Yes, great question. Great question. Let's go check that out. It doesn't list... Oh, July 2022. Ooh. That's a pretty quick turnaround. Hmm. This this one this one has my body since tingling, and I don't like it. Hi, do you, cons uh, do you consider to offer a table that matches the standard Grobe 4x6 gaming mat? So the player, hello, I've sent you, a, uh, thank you for your question, I've sent you a PM. Hey, you know what would be even better than doing that? Maybe if you just answer the question right here so everyone could see the answer. Will there be different options for wood stains? Yes, plus one, plus one, plus two. Thanks for question. Yes, we will have this option. We will be make update regarding this. By the way, which wood stain would you prefer? I think a few options ranging from light walnut. Thank you for your suggestions, Greg. We will definitely add this option. Interesting. Hi, thanks for what seems to be a great product. How to assemble a Kingmaker game table. How is it packed? Yes, that's a huge one. How is this packed? The table is assembled very easily. No special tools needed. The legs are attached to the side of the table. Uh, it will be packaged in several boxes depending on the configuration of the table you choose. And so, yeah, once more, a lot of this information is just stuff that I need. I want pictures of what these gaming tables are at least at the very minimum going to look like. Even if it's a 3D rendering, I don't even care. I think this one definitely needs a relaunch. Um, it just, it, it feels, it feels incomplete. So, final grade on this one. Do I want it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, obviously. Who wouldn't want a nice-looking gaming table like this? Like, every single con that I've mentioned about this Kickstarter project, I don't think any of it's been about the table itself. It's been about the presentation. It's been about the organization. It's been about the redundancy. It's been about the inconsistencies. It's been about a lot of those things. I've never said, oh, this table looks like crap. This table looks amazing. So do I want it? Yes. Can you do it? That is a big check minus here. Because, once again, we go back to that last project, and now I just want to do a little bit more snooping. I want to see, I want to go a little bit deeper into that one comment section, because they raised $600,000, and I saw nothing but people having issues. I didn't see anyone saying this is amazing. Um, received nothing. Has anyone in the U.S. got that tower? I'm in Tennessee. I've not received anything yet. Ohio here, and haven't heard anything yet either. Uh, I just want to know how the shipment of my tower is going. Haven't received mine here in Australia. Is my order in the next batch? Uh, please, can I have an update? Uh, oh my gosh, no, this is, this is... I honestly would just like a refund. I don't feel like waiting till some random time in 2022 to finally get a tower, especially after that useless update that doesn't give an actual numbers and where we are in the production. So, this is... So, what I see here, and this scares me even more, is I see this person, Wood Project, ignoring every single one of these backers. Except for this person. Let's let's see if we can do this person. But that one person, Sean, down there was like... I, they were the kind of person who looked like they were about to start causing problems. You know, I went back to that flaming... You know, that mob outside your door. This is the mob outside your door. And they were just like, we're going to get Sean out of this mob. We're going to give him his money back. We're going to shut him up. And then he will be out of our comment section. Easy peasy lemon squeeze. And I think from a, a marketing perspective, that's really smart. Because this... This is a powder keg here. I just received my tracking number. Package being sent from Ukraine. I am in Southeast Asia. And yes, once again, I thought we're from New York, New York. Are you manufacturing in Ukraine? Uh, which is totally fine if you are, but I just, like, if you're in Ukraine, I don't care. Like, but why does it say you're in F? Oh, there was FAQ? Oh, this is from the last project. We have tried someone regarding, uh, dear backers, we tried to answer everyone regarding the order status via email. If you have questions, please feel to ask. It's just like, hey, stop asking things here. 
No. I am a sponsor. I just want to know how the shipment of my power have ever have received mine here in Austria. About a week ago, I'd have to say that I really like the quality of the product. It is solid and well made. Some imperfections in the coloring of the wood, but to be so there's finally one person who said, Yes, it's good. Uh oh, this is oh, this is oh my. Oh my. This is just a lot of a lot of people. Okay, we do have. Very pleased. Thank you for the hard work. So far, so yeah. So can you do it? Check minus. I don't feel comfortable. Especially not as a U.S. backer. If I lived in the EU, if I lived in Germany, if I lived in Austria or Ukraine, I would feel much more comfortable right now. And if you do live in one of those areas, quite frankly, I would I would bump this up a whole grade over the grade that I'm about to give this. So, final grade. Do I want it? Yes. It's a gaming table. It looks awesome. Period. Can you do it? Don't feel comfortable with that. You have not shipped your last major project, and yet for some reason you still look like you shoved this one out the door, and that always concerns me, because I am I am a skeptic, and I'll be quite honest with you, if I ever have a Kickstarter project and it raises a million dollars, I'm going to take my family, and I'm going to move to a country that doesn't extradite to the United States of America, and Bowers Game Corner is just going to be known as a damn criminal, a thief, a crook, a, a scallywag, but I'll be doing that in south, southern Russia or somewhere, because <laughs> that's so much money. Um, but I, So I look at things in a very skeptical way. But, but anywho, can you do it? I don't feel comfortable. How much is it? Um, I don't know, really. You organized it so piss poor. And then you make me sit through all this again. Just, just, I'm sick. I like, even to just figure out, like, I'm just trying to figure out how much it is, right? Like, I'm doing, trying to do my job here, and I have to scroll through all of this. And once again, it's all of this. It's not just pictures here. If you missed the, the beginning part, this is all just ripped straight from the video. It's all just regurgitated from the video for the most part. Except for this stuff. This is where I actually get some really good stuff that should have been in the video. is not in the video. But anywho, hey, so rewards. So, looking for me, right now I do have a larger table. My buddy and I helped make it. I've had 10 people at it before. Not comfortably. So, I have a large table. So, I'd want, I'd want that. So, $900. Topper system. I want everything. Aside from the wireless charging, I don't really need that. It's a nice little bell and whistle. So, I'm looking at $1,100, $1,350, uh, $1,400, $1,650. Yeah, because I want a topper holder. I think that's the thing that goes up top. Uh, so the all-in one, so 1290 plus whatever this is. So I'm looking around $2,000 plus the shipping. I'm looking around $2,200. And that really is my biggest point with this Kickstarter is that I don't feel like it's really super affordable compared to the risk that I feel like I'm taking here. Like I know that there are more uh, accredited table makers out there who have you know, budget-friendly tables that are maybe not as nice, but super nice. And I know that there's next to no risk. Like, I could go to their website right now and I can order one. Or I could take the risk on this. And we're not going to hit the stretch goals. So it's not like that's one of the reasons why I'm going to start doing this. And, I, and that just concerns me. So my final grade on this one, it's a bad grade. It's a really bad grade. Because the bottom line is, the do I want is a very strong yes. None of my concerns are with the product. The product looks spectacular. I think you... you but, so I'm going to go with a, a D on this one. D, yeah. Because, once again, I, I have an idea of what kind of table I'd be getting, and I would love that table. It looks amazing. But everything else around this project, just not... not. Mm. But let me know in the comments below, what is your grade for the Kingmaker All-in-One Gaming and Dining Table? Actually, you know what? Uh, I gotta go... I'm leaning on a D to D-. minus. Because they haven't shipped anything out to the United States of America before. And they are now going to say we are going to be shipping these massive gaming tables. I'm going D-. minus. I'm actually going D-. minus. I don't feel comfortable with this one in any way, shape, or form. But, do you? What's your final grade? Let me know in the comments below what's your grade for the Kingmaker all-in-one gaming and dining table. And as always, if you enjoyed this segment, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. As I'm trying to reach 9,000 subscribers this year. I'm only 800 away. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, it, because of the Kickstarter critique, man, it's so much fun. And I would love for you to join weekdays at 1.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time because they 
you never know what wild wild ride we're gonna go on but as always thanks for your time youtube and hopefully I, this won't be a seven hour long stream like it was last week <laughs> end look i clicked end